Adobe Premiere Clip is a fun tool that makes it super easy to use your iPhone and iPad to create videos right where your media is, which is on your mobile device. When you launch Premiere Clip, you'll first see your existing projects. There's already a couple here. You can also swipe to the right to see projects in the community video feed. Here you can find inspiration and see what other Clip users are creating. If you want to make your video eligible to be featured, publish your video publicly. More on that later. Swipe to the right once more to see the projects that you've already published. To get started, tap the plus sign to create a new project. Let's call this project Cable Cars. To add media to your project, tap the plus button again. As you can see, you can grab footage from your iPhone, but you can also use the camera to capture footage directly into the new project. You can also grab files stored on your Adobe Creative Cloud account or start with a title. We'll use clips that are in the camera roll. I put mine in a folder already so I can find them easily. When you've selected the ones you want, tap the bar below to add them to your project. Your clips now enter the project. The thumbnails along the bottom appear in the order you shot the clips. Swipe the timeline to see them all laid out. Tap hold a thumbnail to move it elsewhere on the timeline. In this case, it will now play earlier than before. Tapping that X you see in the corner of the thumbnail will remove it from the timeline. Now, to edit a clip, tap the thumbnail and then tap the video above it to reveal some editing controls. For instance, you can move the handles left and right to change the in and out points of the clip. This changes the clip's duration and where it starts and stops. The waveform you see below is the audio in the clip. If you're on your iPhone, you can tap the circle with the three dots in the upper right to reveal more editing features. But first, let's talk about syncing between devices. A cool feature of Premiere Clip is its syncing ability, which lets you work across devices and back up your media. Tap the cloud icon to, at the top to verify that your project is syncing and find out the details. When the cloud stops animating, it means that your project and all of its edits have synced. All of your projects will automatically sync across devices, but the media needs to be uploaded to the Creative Cloud before it will be available to work with, so keep your project open and your eye on the cloud. Let's look at that syncing in action. Here's the new project that we just created on the iPhone. Now when we turn on this iPad and launch Premiere Clip, you can see that the new project is already there. Alright, so now we're going to do the rest of the editing on this iPad, but everything that you see happening on this iPad could just as easily be done on a phone. To access these next editing controls on a phone, tap on the More icon. That's the circle with the three dots in the upper right of your video preview. Let's adjust the image qualities of this clip. Tap the shutter icon right there at the top. These are the brightness controls. Use the sliders to adjust the exposure, highlights, and shadows of your clip. You can do this while the clip is playing if you want to see how the changes affect the whole clip. You can also slow down a clip. Tap the icon that looks like a turtle. That's the speed control. Adjust the slider down to have the clip play in slow motion. Here we adjusted the speed to just under 80%. Sometimes you'll want to adjust or mute the volume, such as when there's a lot of noise from wind or traffic, or when you've made the video slow-mo. You can mute the audio for individual clips by turning off the play audio slider. You can also raise or lower the volume by a specific amount. Here, since the wind is dominating the clip, we adjust it to about 6% of the normal volume. Next, let's take a look at title cards. Tap the plus sign again to add a clip, then tap New Title to open the title generator. Now just start typing. We're going to call this one San Francisco Cable Cars. Title cards are automatically white text on black, but you can change this by tapping on the color box. Once you're satisfied with your title card, place it where you want it to play in the sequence. The titles are automatically set to play for 5 seconds. Tap the magic wand to add some final touches to your sequence. Premiere Clip has several looks that you can add to your video. These filters are based on Adobe Speedgrade looks and will be applied to the whole sequence to give your video a consistent and more finished look. While you're here, you can choose to fade in from black at the beginning of the movie and fade out to black at the end. You can also cross-fade clip to clip. That would be great if your movie consisted of a lot of still images, kind of like a slideshow. To add a soundtrack to your video, tap the music note icon at the top. Premiere Clip comes bundled with 10 free use soundtracks that you can use in your projects without any licensing restrictions. You can also choose music from your iTunes library, but if you're creating a video for business or commercial use, make sure you have the license to whatever music you choose. We don't want you to get in trouble. After you add your soundtrack, you can go back and adjust the volume. 
Here we increased it to about 150% so it dominates the movie. You can also choose to have the soundtrack fade in at the beginning and fade out at the end. Auto mix is kind of like having an audio engineer mixing the soundtrack for you. Auto mix automatically lowers the soundtrack when it detects other audio in your video, so you'll be able to hear dialogue, etc., over the music. And of course, you can always replace or delete the soundtrack you've added. When you're satisfied with your video, tap the send icon at the top. Publish and Share publishes your video to its own web page. You can choose to have this page be public or unlisted. You can also choose to share your video to Twitter or Facebook from this dialog. Once you've chosen your settings, hit Publish. You'll need to be connected to Wi-Fi. Your upload speeds will vary based on the strength of your Wi-Fi connection and the size of your video project. When the upload is finished, you'll get a success message and more sharing options. You can revisit these sharing options anytime by swiping over to the My Published Videos page. Saving to your device is easy in the new version of Premiere Clip. Just tap Save to Camera Roll. You don't need to be online, but note that you won't get a shareable link or see your video in the My Published Videos feed unless you choose Publish and Share. Want to take your project further? Edit your video in Premiere Pro. Tap the Edit in Premiere Pro button to upload your movie's files to your Creative Cloud account. When you're done, you'll see a success message that lets you know that your project file is now saved to the Creative Cloud. Under More Options, you'll see an option to export your final video to the Creative Cloud. Unlike the Edit in Premiere Pro option, this exports your final video, not the clip project files. You can also set up Premiere Clip to publish your video to YouTube. You'll just need to log in to your Google account.